Hello students, this is Ashini from Chinta.com. In this video, I will share with you some resources and strategies for the American math competition, particularly in 2025. An American math competition can be taken by any student from anywhere in the world, technically. Uh, especially if you are in India, in Europe, in North America, in Australia, you can take it. It's the first level of the mathematical Olympiads in the United States. In US, there are three levels of the Math Olympiad program. The first one is the AMC 10 or 12. Of course, there is an AMC 8, but it really doesn't lead to anything. So AMC 10 or 12 is the first level. Then comes AMI, which is American Invitational Mathematics Examination. And then we have USMO. Of course, for juniors, we have USA JMO. So these are the three levels for mathematical competitions in the US and they are very highly respected by the universities all across the world. For example, MIT in their admission process has a separate field to ask for the AMC scores. So if you are preparing for American math competitions, that can be really good for your university applications as well. It's a 150 point contest. There are 25 problems and each problem is worth six points. There is an honor role and there is a distinction role. And these scores vary from year to year. But I would say anything above 120 is a really decent score. And if you score about 135, then you are probably in the top 1%. So this is the background. But now let us discuss how we can prepare for this. There are really four areas of mathematics that the American math competitions touch upon. These are geometry, number theory, algebra, and combinatorics. Now, the way I will approach this subject of preparation, and you can actually go in the link in the description and read more about our American math competition programs. But the way to think about it is that there are two layers of preparation. One is you have to build a conceptual foundation. And the second layer is that you have to actually practice the problems of American math competitions and similar problems in a timed manner. So let's first talk about the concept problem books because those will create the foundations on which you will start the journey. And of course, there are art of problem solving books, which are quite nice. But I personally divide this entire journey into two parts. First, the one who are just beginning with the process. Maybe you are in grade eight, you are just in grade nine. You're just starting out with the process for AMCs. How do you get yourself interested and how do you have some fun with these non-routine problems? So for those, the beginners, I will suggest three books. One is uh, Algebra by Gelfand. It's a very interesting book. You can start by solving the problems right away. And Gelfand has some really twisted problems. The second one is Planimetry by Kisilev. This was used in Russia as a textbook for geometry, but it has wonderful problem sets and it's a great foundational book. And a third book that I would really suggest is Trigonometry by Ellie Moore. Now, trigonometry is not directly tested in AMCs, but if you want to really solve good geometry problems, trigonometry is an excellent tool to have in your toolkit. And this book, Trigonometry Delights by Ellie Moore, it, it gives you a flavor of the subject in a very unique manner. It puts it in a historical perspective, but it also has some good problems. So these are the three books to get started with. But suppose you have this foundation and now you want to really go into the next step. I will suggest a book by an Indian author, Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics by Venkat Shala. There are a few other authors. And this book contains all the necessary theory from algebra, geometry, combinatorics, and in fact, some additional topics as well. There are two other books that I will also recommend. That is uh, Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics. It's a very good book. And Complex Numbers from A to Z. This is also an excellent book by T2 Andrescu. It has geometry as well inbuilt into it, and it starts with complex numbers. Okay, So I hope you can use these books to build the conceptual foundation for American math competitions. Next part that comes in is problem solving. Now, problem solving is the 
key part of this entire preparation. You cannot think like this that, okay, I will learn all the concepts and then I'll start solving the problems. No, it doesn't work like that. From the day one, you have to start devoting at least 50% of your time to solve problems. But what problems will you solve? Well, of course, past year problems for, from American math competitions, you need to solve them, but you also need to solve some similar contests to keep the problem set a little bit large. So I we suggest three contests. One is Singapore Math Competition. It's an excellent SMO, uh, is an excellent mathematical contest whose problems are very similar to American Math Competition. The second one is UKMT. UKMT is also really nice. And the third one is CMC Waterloo Contests. Apart from American Math Competitions, these three competitions have excellent contest problems which you can try and practice every day. Okay, so if you are a student of Chinta, then make sure that you are using the problem solving workshops four to five times every week because all of these problems that I just talked about, they, they are pulled together and they're discussed in the problem solving sessions. So continuity is the key. Also, you can use the software Panini 8 to solve more problems every day and keep a track of your strengths and weaknesses. Most importantly, you should take at least one model test every month to make sure that your timing is correct. Because maybe you know all the concepts, maybe you also know all the uh, problems, how to solve them, but maybe your speed is a little bit slow. We don't want that. So make sure to go to Parini 8 and take at least one mock test every month to see how you perform in different areas of mathematics. There is detailed analysis of all the parts that I talked about, geometry, algebra, number theory, and combinatorics, where you need to improve, where you need a little bit more work, and so on. I hope this video has been useful for you. You've learned about the books, you've learned about the problem sets, and the resources that you can use for American math competition. At the time when I'm recording this video, this is the month of May, the actual exam is in November. So you have a little bit of time, so work really hard and maybe by November, you'll be able to complete all the things that I just mentioned, all right? Okay, all the best, keep on doing great mathematics. If you really like mathematical sciences, you can check the link in the description for more details, bye.